bells ringing in your heart. Amen. As the word goes forth. Praise God. Glory goes to some and protect to others, which, which we don't have. But we're getting ready to bring before you our evangelist, Sharon Jordan. Praise God, who's coming to break the bread of life for you today. We don't have to say amen to the truth. Just say amen to the truth. Amen. 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 Our evangelist, Jordan. Remember me now as I come before your people, dear God. Asking you to crucify self, the more that you will be lifted up in me, dear God. Oh God, use me for your glory, dear God. Allow your word to go where it's needed, dear God, to strengthen your people the more, to lift them up the more. Oh God, to put running in their feet, dear God. Oh God, and to have the sinner man come running, saying and asking, what must I do to be saved? Lord, if you do these things, I will forever praise, honor, glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Give honor to God, to our Bishop Anderson, to Amen. our Pastor Glover, to our Elder Robinson, Amen. to our Mother Anderson, where as I'm standing, I send my condolences to you as well as your family yes. and everyone underneath the sound of my voice. The song says, oh, magnify the Lord, yes. for he is worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. I add on and then I said, come and magnify the Lord. For he is worthy of our praises. He has done so much for me this past week. Allowing me to wake up each and every day still clothed in my right mind. And with a mind to want to serve him. Because you can wake up and things can be so totally different than the way it was when you went down to bed. But we got something to give God glory for. Amen. And I thank God most of all for being saved on today. Amen. For having the mind to want to stay saved. Amen. Having the mind to want to serve God. Yes. Not the enemy. Yes. In these last and evil days. Yes. In this sinful world where there are people that are falling by the wayside and they ain't getting up. 
There are people that are turning away from God and not even thinking a second thought about it. So we need to give God praise when we come into his temple. Because he could have turned us over to a reprobated mind. And I thank God for the mind that I have in Christ. Any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. So let's get more and more in God so that our human side can die. And that the spiritual side can rise up and walk in newness of life. Ooh, I'm feeling good in my soul on today. I was stirred up all week. Not even knowing that I was going to bring the word. I was stirred up two weeks ago. A month ago. Why? Because God is a good God. Oh, and the deeper I get into him, the more I see how good he is. Not only does he supply my needs, but he supply my wants. Some things I've been wanting and God has provided. And I thank God for my mind because I remember years ago, my mind was not where it was supposed to be. And when you come to that realization that you're not where you're supposed to be in God, you better get there. And you better get there quick. Even though the word says one day with the Lord is as a thousand, yeah. But that ain't got nothing to do with us. No. You see what I'm saying? No. Every day that we live yeah. better be towards the Lord. Yeah. Stop wasting God's time yeah. as well as yours. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here's another catch as well as ours. Let's be considerate yeah. of the Lord. And what he is seeking for in our lives. I'm going away here and I'm going the way that the Lord wants me to go this morning. I'm asking him to move cell phone out the way. Because I ain't here to chastise nobody. My daughters and grands is over there. That's who I chastise. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do, how to do it, or when to do it. I'm just here to bring the word of God. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Walking in newness of life this morning. Walking in newness of life, mother, this afternoon. That's what we got to walk in. We can't walk in the flesh. Yeah, because if we walk in the flesh, we're going to fulfill it. We're going to do what it wants done. But we got to walk in the spirit of God. And you can't walk in it if you ain't got it. You may have the will, you may have the want, but you ain't got the spirit. Oh, my God, my God. I'm going to go on. My topic today is going to be faith. 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 I got some scriptures, but my main scripture is going to be Hebrews 11. The first verse and the sixth verse. And I thank the Lord. I was on the train today. Once I was told that I was going to bring the word, I asked, should I say. I always, you know, the Lord always have, you know, things for you. Tell you things. You write them down. As I said before, he woke me up out of my sleep in reference to a dream that I had. And saints, I just want to say this to y'all. Y'all stand True on God. Stand up for God. When I woke up from this dream, I was very sad because there was saved folks in the dream that was afraid to stand up for the Lord. And in the dream, the particular person, even though we're wearing masks right now, this person had a mask, but that mask represented bondage on that person. It wasn't only that person, there was others there. Uh And the person that was praying for someone in the dream Mm -hmm. that was dead, not dead spiritually, dead naturally, Mm -hmm. 
And the person that was praying was praying and was not believing. And I was standing a ways off. Actually, I wasn't standing. I was sitting a ways off of some chairs. And these, this person that was doing the prayer and who they was praying for and the other leaders that was around, they was a ways from me. And I was standing. I keep saying standing. Excuse me. I was sitting. And the person was praying, but as they was praying, they were saying, I don't believe it. I don't believe they're going to get up. I don't believe God is going to bring them up. And I'm over on the side, and I'm yelling out to the person, yes, he will. He will do it. Well, get it on. Uh, this ain't dream time. But get it on to the point of the matter is that I spoke out and said that there's power in God. Amen. So saints, y'all better believe there's power in God. Yes. Regardless of what you believe, God is able to raise the dead. Yes. People have a tendency of saying, oh, that was back in God's day. That was back in Jesus' day. Didn't the word say greater works than these? That's right. Amen. Yes, Greater. So that means his power is going to engulf us to do more. Yes. And that more that we do is to glorify him. Yes. It's not to take nothing away from Jesus and what he did in his miracle. Yes. It's only to make those that don't believe, believe. Yes. Saints, you better believe. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. Lord Jesus. Oh, this just goes to this just goes to show that every saint don't believe. What does it say? Have you received the Holy Ghost? What's that name of it? Sent ye. All right. So you gotta believe in order to get the Holy Ghost. Check yourself if you ain't getting it yet. Check yourself if you ain't interested. Lord, have mercy. Hmm, that's why we're talking about faith here. Talking about faith, because faith is geared around believing. Uh -huh. Believing in something. <laughs> so I'm going both ways. I'm going natural and spiritual with faith. So I'm here to talk to the sinner man about faith, and I'm here to talk to the saint about faith. But I ain't got to be beating y'all over the head about faith because y'all should know about it. Amen. Because you wouldn't be saved today if you didn't believe in whom Amen. God was. Amen. So let's go on down and let's pick this apart. I spoke on this subject a few times before. But on the spiritual aspect. This time I'm being led to speak on it in the natural for the Senate. This is our back to church Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now, we should invite people. Yeah. Not because I'm saying it, it's because you want to. Yeah. All right. If you're saved, you should be inviting someone that's unsaved. Mm -hmm. If you're unsaved, you should be inviting somebody that's unsaved so that they'll get saved along with you. Yeah. And not to put a big old crown on this service. Because every Sunday is God's day, and you should still bring somebody. Yes. But I appreciate how God took this day and gave it a title so that nobody won't have no excuse. Amen. Well, um, I would go, but every time I go, it's a women's day. It's a men's day. It's a children's day. Now it's your day. This day is set aside for you, the sign man, a woman, boy, a girl. So now what's your excuse? Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Let me go on in my word. Yeah. So now, this message of faith is for the sinner and those who need to get a more natural glimpse on the word faith. From another perspective. So now I have some scriptures that we're going to walk through. So now... In the natural aspect, we wake up, we may sit out alone and say, okay, I got to get up, I got to be to work at 
7 o'clock. I'll just throw that time out. So you set your alarm so you got faith when you set it and believe that it's going to ring. And when it rings, you got faith and get up. So let me get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, take a shower, whatever it is that you do. And let me go to this train. You get to the train, you got faith to believe that you got your metro cup. Yeah. Well, I'm here to tell you, sometimes I left mine. If you got to jump in a car, you got faith to believe that when you parked that car last night, it had some gas. Yeah. The engine was still running. All that electrical thing that's inside the car, when you turn it on, everything is going there. Yeah. All right, car, take me to my job. You got faith. Amen. You following me? Amen. Amen. So now, Santa Man, we want you to have faith to believe that God loves you. Amen. Yeah. Santa Man, we want you to have faith to believe that he died. Yeah. We just had Good Friday. I guess some people didn't believe it because we didn't have a bad church. Amen. I guess some people just say, oh, it's just a Friday. No, to us. It was good Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Had the word good in it. Yeah. That good word represented something. Yes, it did. You did a good deed. Mean that that deed was good. Yeah. So Jesus did a good deed by dying for us. Yeah. Mm. That we, we, we can always Every message that anybody preaches can always go into him dying. Because that's what brings us to where we are today. Aren't you glad he died? Amen. But most of all, aren't you glad he rose? Yeah. Songs say he rose, he rose, he rose from the dead. Yeah. Oh, he lives within our soul. So now, Santa Man, we want you also to have faith enough to believe that God can save you. That God can clean you up like we clean our house, like those that come out here and clean this church. And sometimes you got to do a shampooing on the rug. Sometimes me, when I'm cleaning my house, I got some brushes with some sticks. And I go dipping into the water and I, well, with some soap. And I go down my walls, because my grandmother taught me, you gotta wash your walls too. Don't leave out your walls. <laughs> they carry a lot of dirt too. So when God, when you believe and make up your mind that you wanna give your life to the Lord, he began to clean you up. Because now you have acknowledged, hmm, I want to be saved. I want to be changed. What was the song you said again? And, and what's the other words? Okay. That's what begins to happen. Take heed to the song. Take heed to the song. All of those that heard the song and unsaved, take heed to it. Yeah. Everything else can wait. Yeah. Amen. Everything else. Uh -huh. Job, family, cars, home, can wait. As they used to say, put it on the back burner. Why? Because I want to follow God. you enough to not only send his son but that his son died for you. So once I got this message and I was up the wee hours of the morning studying, writing, typing, printing you know, I said, alright Lord 
whatever you want. You know what? I'm just going to go with what you want. I'm on the train, got my headphones on, and I download preaching video. I'm particular about who I listen to. So I download certain people that preach. So this particular person I never heard. And he began to talk on faith. I said, well, Lord, thank you for your confirmation. And he began to explain certain things. Now, I'm not one to bring a message based on what someone says. Amen. But I'm just using it as an example of confirmation from the Lord. When you undecided or you unsure, God will come and confirm things for you. Yes. Yes. So now moving on down. With all your faith, said a man, said a woman, boy, girl, that you believe. One thing I want you to realize. That until you give your life to the Lord, you're rejecting salvation. Amen. You're turning your back. On the Lord. So now you got to get enough faith in you to come to God. I want to take my time with this because I want it to come out right. So now let's go to that scripture, Hebrews 11. The first verse says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yes. Go down to the sixth verse. But without faith, it is impossible yes, to please him. Yes. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Yes. See, the Bible just telling y'all about belief faith. Uh -huh. And that he is a rewarder going to get a reward now. Of them that diligently seek him. Yes. Now, before I go into that, because that's the spiritual part, we're going to go over to Hebrews 10 and 26. One chapter over. Still talking to the same. Hebrews 10, 26, have it say amen, need a Bible, amen. Usher will give you. Amen. Reads as follows, for if we sin willfully, mm -hmm. after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, mm -hmm. there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Amen. All right. <laughs> no more sacrifice. That means you ain't got no excuse. Christ done died. You sing the song, you don't have to kill the lamb anymore. Amen. No excuses. Nail them to the cross. Yeah. This verse is telling us that the sinner, man, if he continues to sin, having heard, watch it now, the gospel. Of salvation. Yes. There's no more sacrifice. Yes. Mm -hmm. We no longer have to go to the priest and the priest do what needs to be done. Amen. We no longer have to kill lambs. Pure blood. Why? Because Christ came. Amen. His blood was pure. Mm -hmm. yes. Christ was the ultimate sacrifice. So now you're a sinner, you're in sin, but God didn't think it wrong to bring you in the church Amen. so that you can hear the word. Amen. But you continue to go on and sin. You still got the desire. That's why you got to be purged so that the desires is taken away. Because you can't get rid of no desire. I was a smoker. I was a drinker. Those was desires yeah. that I couldn't put down. Right. 
and I was smoking 100. <laughs> Newport's 100. That's some extra inches on a regular. I was drinking some Bacardi Light, dog, and went to Bacardi Light. Why? Thinking they were gonna make it make a difference. No, it's still alcohol. Yes. Those were desires. Lord Jesus, that I couldn't get rid of. Right. That I couldn't put down. Mm -hmm. Oh, when trouble would come my way, I went and picked up a drink. Uh -huh. I never was into drugs. Too scared. I don't like to take nothing that controls me. So I ain't messing no drugs, but that alcohol. And having my children removed from me, I wasn't, well, I'm not going to say I wasn't using alcohol, but I didn't tell them I was using alcohol. But they had back then that you have to go into all this different type of counseling before you can get your kids back. Like it's all about your mind. You got to make up your mind yeah. to do the right thing. Not the counselor. Uh -huh. So they put me in a substance abuse. Mm -hmm. And in that substance abuse class or whatever you want to call it, the person that was talking, they was going around asking everybody their problems and what they did and etc. So when they came down to me, I told them, I said, yeah, I used to drink. I said, but the strangest thing that I would drink, but I would never get drunk. And I'm literally saying this out of truth. I mean, people say, yeah, you, you, you was drunk and didn't even know. No, you know when you're drunk. Half the time. <laughs> Am I right? And I would drink, I would drink, and I'll be just as sober as I could be. So it was like a mellow. For those who drank, know what I'm talking about. It, it was a mellow going on there. So I wasn't staggering. I didn't, when, when, when I would go out to the club with my friends, I was the one that would be the driver. I wouldn't drink there. But I was the one that would be the driver. I was the, de the designated one. Holding purses and coats and all that stuff. So what am I saying? I'm getting to a point here. So the, the counselor said to me, well, Alcoholism skips generations. It may be hereditary, but it will skip you. The effect of it will skip you. So what, you know, she had to explain it to me. She said, so that's why you don't get drunk. She said, because I don't know, for some crazy reason, maybe the immune system doesn't work the same way it worked in my dad. Don't give my dad nothing, because he'd be tumbling over. Falling uh -huh. down steps. Lord Jesus. But I'm glad that route, I didn't walk. Yeah. I didn't stumble out and knock out in the street and people waking me up, don't know where I am. Thank God I didn't go there. So now, going down to this faith again. So, as this center man, center woman, whomever it may be, these type of desires, God has to remove from you. I couldn't stop drinking or smoking. God had to take that from me. I got down here. I tarried, I rolled, purging, slobbing all over the place, rolling all over the place. And I know why I had to roll, because God had to kill me. Everybody don't roll. Right. But I know I did. I don't think we got nobody rolling today. God had to kill things in me at that time. And as you grow in God, he will kill things in you. You have to allow him to kill it. You have to have faith enough to believe that he can kill it. Can't go walking around like it's killed and it ain't. Let him do it. Faith as a grain of mustard seed. Say to the mountain, be moved. And it's going to go out of your life. But you got to let God do it. Yeah. You can say all you want. 
I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop fornication. I'm going to stop whatever else that's in the list. But unless God moves it, sing. Send a man, excuse me, I sing. Send a man, it's going to stay right there. And if you watch it, when you get saved, if you ain't let him move it, it's going to pop back up. You're going to find yourself sneaking around the corner, taking a puff. Sneak around the corner, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, my body. Taking a drink. And come back in God's pulpit. Come back and grab a Holy Ghost filled mic. And think God ain't going to get you? Here to tell you he will. I read in the word where he opened up the ground. And the people disappeared, Lord. When I read out, I said, Lord Jesus, I ain't messing with you. Right. Stop playing with God. Whether you're a saint or a sinner. Some people think, some people, let me go on down. Okay. The verse is also, let me go over there. Every wrongdoing, every harsh word, you become accountable for everything you do and say here on earth. Yeah. Every wrongdoing, every harsh word that does not represent Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. Every wrong deed done within this fleshly body. Yeah. Got to emphasize the flesh yes. because you're a sinner. And you can't walk in the spirit. Man, you can't. You got flesh rising up. You ain't walking in the spirit. I heard. I heard somebody tell me, right there on those benches. Oh, you can't walk in the spirit. Well, I don't know what's going on with you. If you notice, it really bothers my spiritual nerve. When people undermine God. Yeah. When they undermine his word, his word says, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So how do you fix your sanctified mouth to say you can't do it? I told the person, well, you can't do it. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I'm striving to walk. Yeah, glory. Yes, ma'am. Walk in the spirit. Yeah. So that I don't have to pay attention to the flesh. Amen. So I don't have to pay attention to what people saying and what people doing and how husband acting and how kids acting and how the person on the bus is talking Amen. and what they saying. People go crazy. Amen. But one little word. Amen. You ain't got control over what people say. I tell my children that all the time. Amen. People got a mouth to say whatever they want to say, and if God ain't in them, what come out is who's in them. So be careful if you say it. Watch out what come out of your mouth, because it's going to show who you're saving. Hey, glory. Whatever you say, or however you talk, represents who you living for. We are ambassadors. For God. Yes. I had a missionary service mm -hmm. where the Lord gave me that. Ambassadors for Christ. Mm -hmm. And you know what ambassadors are. Mm -hmm. we rep they represent mm -hmm. yeah. royalty. Yes. Ooh, aren't you glad you belong to a king on today? Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to have no castle. Mm -hmm. I know I ain't got one. But I'm glad I'm a princess on the yeah. yeah. It says, going on, this verse is also telling the saved saints who have received the Holy Ghost and come into the knowledge of Christ, of gospel, the knowledge of the gospel, but go on sinning, have ultimately rejected the truth of the gospel mm -hmm. and favored staying in their sin. These persons should be those at some point in their lives never really wanting to be saved in the first place. Uh -huh. That's sad. 
Don't took up all that time to go get saved. Right. Yeah. Don't had you here. Call him, call him. And then get up. And do what they want to do. Yeah. Don't forget God done cleansed them. Yeah. Done purged them. That's why you got to get purged. Mm -hmm. Bring all that sin out of you. So we got to be careful. Just like somebody say, we gonna go, we gonna go to a boyfriend girlfriend. I, I don't want nobody to think I'm talking about marriage and stuff. So let's go boyfriend girlfriend. They love one another. They doing all they want for one another, all they can for one another. One little thing pop up, they can't stand one another. So what does that prove? They never loved one another. So that's why our love as saints of God outweighs the sinner man's love. That's right. yeah. Because we love regardless. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Everybody can say, oh yeah, that's easy. It's easy to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you, God. I don't care. I ain't worried about nothing. Really? Mm -hmm. Let something slap you in your face. Mm -hmm. Let that boyfriend say something to you. Let that husband say something to you. I got to say husband because now I'm talking about the same. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you, you, you don't want to be bothered. Ooh, love covers a multitude of faults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus died to cover yeah. our sins. Yeah. Yeah. His blood covered sins. Yeah. Yeah. He loved us enough to take on our faults. Yeah. He was on the cross for giving a thief. And somebody come and take five dollars from you, you ready to put them under the jail of sex. Love is just not a word. Love is just not a word. Love represents Christ. Love ain't got nothing to do with you. It got to do with Christ. Understand this. You can say love, 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 but Christ in you is going to come out through love. And that's when people are going to see Christ. That's where the scripture says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Say yeah. that word. If. Everybody overlooking the word if. And just going, oh, I got it. No, if ye have love yeah. one toward another. Yeah. So that love for your husband is different than that love for your sister and brother. Yeah. But here's the catch. God's love is the same. Yeah. So that God's love you're going to love your husband the same way as you love your sister. No respect a person. Right. Oh, I'm going to do this for this person because they got a million bucks. Right. But I ain't going to do nothing for that person because all they got is a dollar. Uh -huh. The Bible says you love a cheerful giver. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what amount you put in yeah. as long as it's from love, yeah. from your heart. So moving on down, we're going to go to the cross reference to the scripture with, which is Numbers 15, talking about faith to the son of man, 30 to 31. It's a good thing I write out my scriptures because I walked out, had my Bible in, Walked out and left the Bible, and the Bible that I just asked for does not have the, new, the Old Testament sent. Numbers 15, verse 30 and 31. You have it, say amen. 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 And it reads as follows. But the soul that doeth art presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproaches the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Mm -hmm. 31st verse, because he has despised the word of the Lord, 
and hath broken his commandments, that soul shall utterly be cut off. Yep. His iniquity shall be upon him. Yes. No more sacrifices. Mm -hmm. no more. Your wrongdoing is what you going to pay for. Yes. Not the wrongdoing of somebody else. Uh -huh. Not the wrongdoing of somebody else to you. Yes. It's what you do that you want to pay for. It's what you do that's going to be accounted for. So in this scripture, it's stating that God was saying that it doesn't matter the fact that they're sinning, whether you're a stranger, somebody that come into, or whether you are a part of that tribe, this is what's going to happen to you. The reproach of the Lord. The anger of the Lord. The non-forgiveness of the Lord to the son of man. You shall be cut off. So if they're going to be cut off from the tribe, what you think about you? Right, right. You think you're going to go on sinning and still, the song says, sleeping through the city. You think you're going to go sleeping through? No, it's not. Mm, thank you, Pastor. Not even walking, she said. That's right, man. Because right. sin cannot tarry in his sight. He don't like no liars. No. Go on in the word. It's going to tell you in the Old Testament the curses right. and the blessings. Right. So I think we should be falling underneath them blessings. Right. Don't find yourself underneath them curses. Because see, back here in Numbers, God didn't play. Right. Look what he's saying. You want to be cut off. Lord, you think it's going to be a different here? He cut no people. People are dying left and right, whether they're saved or unsafe. Brought the coronavirus and people ain't even thinking nothing about it. And when I say nothing about it, I don't mean in reference to the virus. I mean in reference to him. They ain't caring nothing. Going right on sending. Got all the faith they can have. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that stimulus check coming. They believing in that stimulus check and whatever else that's coming along. Oh, I believe my job won't call me back. Mm -hmm. What about? What about God? Right. Yes. Do you believe God going to allow the job to call you back? Yes. Do you believe God is going to allow? What's his name? Biden? Mm -hmm. Biden. Biden. Biden, thank you. Sign on some more papers for this, that, and the other. It's still in God's hand. Yeah. I said last time, he allowed things to happen so that he can get the glory. Yeah. So that he can show the world that I'm still God. Yeah. And I'm God all by myself. Yeah. Don't need no help from you or the other. Because he is able to keep us from falling yeah. and to present us faultless Amen. before the throne. That's who we need to be serving on today. Yeah. Send a man that's neat. That's who you need to give your life to. Because other than that, you're going to fall. Yeah. Oh, my God, my God. So let's stir it up. I don't know. Yeah. We got to get it right. Because yeah. God is about to sweep through. Yeah. Yeah. As I always say, he's going to come by slapping. And when he come and slap you up side of your head, watch out. Because if you fall, you ain't getting up. Lord, have mercy. Let's stay in the right place. Let's do the right thing. Yeah. Let's say the right word. Yeah. Let's live the right life. Yeah. So that God will be glorified through us. Yeah. Not the enemy. Yeah. Let our faith stand strong in God. Yeah. Let our faith grow that we able to move mountains. Yeah. And you know what? If our faith gets strong enough, we can move other people now. Yes, 
Our yeah. prayer can go up so strong to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when the sinner man say, uh, well, I know God heard my prayer because such and such happened. No, that was the prayers of the righteous. Because right. yeah. yeah. unless you're a worshiper, he ain't hearing nothing you sing. And I don't need nobody that's up here can, can sing. Amen. Sing like a mockingbird. That ain't no worshiper. Amen. That's somebody that just know how to sing. I think, I think our, our evangelists don't explain what ministry and singing is about. Amen. You got to touch people yeah. through God. Yeah. Not through your gift. Right. Not because you know how to sing a note. You got to allow God to take over that note so that souls will come in. Not coming just to see you or hear you sing. That's why it ain't working in the secular world. I was listening to our uh, Thai tribute. If I'm saying this word, yeah. his name right. Yeah. He did a video. Yeah. And he was talking about what they wanted him to do. And he said he was not backing down. He was not allowing them to tell him what to do. Now how he living his life, I got nothing to do. But I use that as a certain notice to us. We got to be the same way. We got to stand up for Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless of what the world say, you got to do. Yeah. Well, if you don't do it, then hey, uh, well, what? What? If I don't do it, what? You can't do nothing to me that God does not allow. Yeah. You don't have the power. When Christ rose from the dead, he went down and he took the keys. Yes, so that means the enemy can't touch us. Yes, he can try, but he ain't going to do nothing unless God allows. Yes, Remember that. Don't get so, so discombobulated. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is happening. That's happening. Why? He said, be ye steadfast and unmovable. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And when you know in whom you're serving and whom you're believing in, you ain't going to worry about a thing. Yeah. Right. Get there. Get there. Amen. Get there. Because I ain't worried about nothing. This, that, and the other can happen. All types of things be going on around me, whether it's in my house or around in my building, I don't worry about a thing. People talk and say, I like your family. Y'all mind your business. Yes, we do. I raise my children, mind your business. Yes. Nobody ain't saying nothing to you, you don't say nothing to them. Amen. You ain't got to be all up in everything. Amen. You ain't got to be t taking care of other people's business. Amen. Lord, I thank God for my upbringing. Thank God. My grandma ain't let me go nowhere. Growing up, I thought it was just, Lord, this don't make no sense. Why well, can't go? Why well, can't go to this person's house? Well, I can't go sleep over here. No, you ain't going nowhere. You know why? Because she was protecting my mind. Yeah. She don't want me to get out there and get caught up. And let me tell you something. If you raise them up right, they may step out. Mm -hmm. The word said train them up. Yeah. And when they are old, they won't depart. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not necessary talking about a number. It's not necessary talking about a, a, a number and age. It's talking about older in mind. Uh -huh. As you grow up yeah. and get older, what you've been taught is going to come back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And if it was taught right, it's going to stay with you. Yeah. You're going to be able to go out just a little bit. And next thing you know, you're going to have to come back. Especially if God got his hands on. Yeah. So let's go on down. Coming off these centers. Because he that despises the word of the Lord has broken his commandment. It's the 31st verse. And that soul shall be utterly cut off. Amen. So look what you're doing, said a man, woman, boy, girl. When you despise, reject uh -huh. salvation. Amen. It may seem like a little thing. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll come next time. Oh, I'll tarry next week. And it, it, it's not even under the aspect of not knowing whether you're going to make it to next week or not. But it's just the fact of how the devil can have you frame your mind, or oh, I'll wait. That's right. 
or our weight. Yeah. When you start thinking of Christ, and he said, no, Father, I'm going to wait to 2021 to go down. The angel didn't go to Mary and say, oh, you're going to be conceived with a child, but, but, but we're going to wait right now. We just wanted to let you know. No, 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 no. It happened. She was conceived with a child. A child that had so much power. Uh -huh. Power that we could never dream of. Amen. Our only dream of. The words say, you shall receive power. Yes. So you don't wake up in the morning with it. You don't be born with it. You got to receive this power. Yes. God got to give you this power. Yes. You just don't all of a sudden, oh, oh, I, I got the power to do this. God has to give you power to overcome sin. That's power. Yes. Is y'all getting this? This is not nothing that we can do naturally. Amen. That's where faith comes in. Yeah. Cause we gotta believe that we able through God to not sin. Yeah. Cause otherwise we will be sin. So now we're gonna go into the spiritual realm. Now we go back to that scripture. <coughs> Hebrews 11. Tear that up a little bit, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Faith is a substance. Yeah. Remember, I was talking about me drinking? Mm -hmm. That's a substance. Yeah. Drugs is a substance. Yeah. But here in this word, it's telling us that faith uh -huh. is a substance. Yeah. So therefore, faith has to be active in order to get a result. Yeah. Then it say, the substance of things hopeful. Uh -huh. So we hope for things. Yeah. And our faith allows it to come to pass. Yeah. So don't be hoping that someone you dislike fall down the step. No. 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 That's not the type of faith we're talking about here. No. That's right. Don't be hoping, oh, they don't want to listen to me? That's all right. God got their number, yeah. God do got their number. But you ain't got nothing to do with God's number. You ain't got nothing to do with that individual, but pray if they say and witness if they unsaved. That's it. That's all our job is. Yeah. Just like a parent, don't got nothing else to do with a child but raise them, teach them the right way, teach them the word of God, and that's it. You got no business slapping them up, throwing them out windows, all this other stuff. Those are not parents. Those are crazy folks. Lord, be aren't you glad for your parents? Yeah. Men check God garnish because the child support went and beat up the girl. Uh -huh. I said, Lord, let me tell you something. Unsaved people, y'all better watch your date. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You better, this is what we say again. You better watch who you date. Because right. nowadays people ain't dating. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. That's sex sin. That's all they're thinking about. And then you get caught up. I don't know whether any of y'all saw Juanita Bynum's No More Sheep. Yeah. That, that's, that's a fact. That's the truth. Yeah. But you won't see it until you come out of that. Yeah. You won't see all them spirits that you picked up based on who you lied with. Who you slobbing down kissing. Yeah, right. These are spirits yeah. that you're picking up. Yeah. And then you're going to go try to get married. Mm -hmm. You're going to go try to get married to a good man. Mm -hmm. 
and want to beat up the, the good man. I, I can't deal with Dick. And he looking at you like you crazy. You can't deal with what, baby? All I'm doing is going to work. You ain't going to work. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I don't know why I'm going down this road, but hey, I'm going to tell it. It's time for the truth to be told. Y'all on say people need to watch who you're lying in the bed with. Shouldn't be doing it anyway. That's right, because you're sinning. You got faith in that guy. And don't let him be a jailbird. Do you notice that a lot of our women like them? I went out with one guy and told him, if you ever get locked up, don't you look for me. I don't care whether you're innocent or not innocent. We ain't got no business in there. I know things happen, yeah. I'm telling you, be careful. Y'all can sit around thinking, oh, it ain't gonna happen to me. Really? Really? The women that are dead due to the fact of men killing them, they ain't think that. Oh, that boy loved me. He loved me so much, he bought me a car. <laughs> he said, the run, run you over. Be careful. That's why I'm so glad. I appreciate my upbringing. I never was one to go fooling around with men, because when I love, I love. And I love one. I don't love ten. These men, what, what, what's the name, Playboy? Yeah. Gigolo. Gigolos, okay. What is that? Lord Jesus. And then some, some saints, so-called saint men. Every time you turn around, they in some woman face. No, they got a, a wife at home. Mm. Lord Jesus. Watch yourself, God is watching. He don't want you to take his word, which is faith, and use it for your glory. Right. This verse says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, not hoping for no devil. Not hoping for something to happen to somebody because you don't like them. Not hoping to take somebody's title from them. Not hoping to go on a job. Now, I'm talking about saints now. Not hoping to go on a job and then, oh, wait, I want to be, I want to be, what is it, the supervisor? Mm -hmm. I want to be a CEO. How you want to be a CEO? You can't even own your own house. Can't even get your own house in order. Lord, cheat. Worrying about other things. Make sure your faith is in order. Make sure it's right. Make sure it's for God and not for the devil. Don't be fooled by the blessings that come upon you. Because the devil can fool you. You go pray for something. Oh, that's why that person fell. See, my prayer was answered. God came and rescued rescue you. Watch your prayer, saints. Because if they ain't being answered, maybe you're praying wrong. Maybe your faith ain't where it's supposed to be. Maybe the substance of the faith is not right. Because it goes on and say, faith is the substance of things hopeful. Now once you got all of that straight, now we're going to the big now. Uh, the evidence yeah. of things not seen. Uh -huh. So now you can understand what faith is about. Because now you're praying for something and you believe in something that God is going to bring to pass that you don't even see. Yeah. Mm, that's heavy right there. How they used to say, uh, 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 y'all should have been putting the praise on that. Yeah. <laughs> Substance of things hoped for. Let's hope for some good things. Yeah. Let's hope for God bringing some souls in. Yeah. 
You come in one Sunday, you don't see, ooh, let me go back and do some more hoping. Lord, I hope you bring some more people in. Because I got faith to believe it. Even though I don't see it. I got hope for my family, Lord. Yeah. I got hope for my husband, Lord. Because yeah. God is able yes, to do the impossible. Yes, He's able to do what you think can't be done. Because his mind is higher than I. The word said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. That means that we got to allow God to lead us. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that how we respond and how we act is going to be based on God's mind. Yeah. It's not saying that we are smarter than God. No. That verse is not saying that, oh, we're trying to be like God. No, he wants us to walk in the spirit so that he can lead us the right way. So that he can tell us the right things to do. Amen. So that he can show us how to act. Amen. He can show us how to respond. Because yeah. we may respond too quickly. Amen. So let's go on there. The sixth verse says, without faith is impossible. Yeah. So now once you done did the hope and got the evidence, now if you ain't got that faith, then you can't please them. And we should be all about wanting to please God. And if all he's asking is for us to have faith in him, to please him, what's the problem? Faith is something that you can't see. So that's why you got to believe in God. You got to trust in him. <laughs> you got to allow him to do in you what he wants done. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. Not what we want done. Amen. We got to allow him when he say pray, pray. That's right. When he say fast, fast. That's right. When he say talk, talk. He will be backing up, but God wants us to stand firm in what we believe, yeah. which is in him. Yeah. He wants us to stand strong on the foundation of him yeah. because he's not going to waver. He's not going to move. His trust is true. Yeah. Can we trust one another? Can God trust us? I think I brought a message say, trustless Judas. Are you a trustless Judas? Can God depend on you? Yeah. Can he rely on you? Yeah. If he asks you to do something, will you do it? Or will you be sitting back worrying? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever God wants you to do, he's going to open up that door. Yeah. He's going to allow you to be able to do it. And let me tell you something. Nobody won't be able to do a thing. They can say all they want to say, but they ain't going to be able to do nothing when God say do it. When God say say it. Lord have mercy. Now substance consists of an underlying state of a thing. So sometimes you may smell liquor or cigarettes on somebody, but you didn't see them smoke or you ain't see them drink. But if they keep smoking, I'll just throw this in because there's probably a lot of diseases that, that goes with smoking. They, they, they wind up getting lung cancer. And then you wind up hearing, oh, it's from smoking. Smoking? Wow, I ain't never know he smoked. So these are underlying conditions. Yeah. Somebody drinking, drinking, never drink around you. You may smell it, but you ain't going to judge him. Then after a while, what is that, cir cirrhosis of the liver? That's right. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> exactly. Well, we got brother so-and-so in the hospital. All right, let's pray. 
What's going on with brothers? He got the roses of the what? Mm. Now don't get me wrong. Doing my study on the word, you can get it some other way. Yeah. But the main cause is alcohol. That's right. The main cause of lung cancer is smoking. That's right. So we may hide things. <laughs> we may act like we ain't doing. But God is a revealer. Yeah. He'll reveal things. Yeah. God is a pull back cover type of God. Yeah. Shouting all over the place, speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. All right, let me, let, me, let me just pull up the cover. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shouting. Oh my goodness. And God gives saints discerning of spirit. When they know what's going on, yeah. <laughs> you hiding it, and <laughs> they already know. Yeah. Don't play with God. Yeah. Save or unsave. Mm -hmm. Do not play with God, because the saying is word, he'll cut you off. Yes, he will. And when he cuts you off, you won't turn into a reprobated mind. Yeah. So you don't lost all your salvation. You done lost all your tongue, all your shouting, all your singing like a mockingbird, all your preaching, teaching. Lord have mercy. These are things. I, I, I'm just preaching to, 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 to help you to think, to get you to think about this word of God. It's not here for nothing. They come in all colors, forms, shapes, but it's still the work. Yeah, right. And it's here to teach you. Mm -hmm. And in order to understand it, you need the Holy Ghost. Because yeah. the Holy Ghost is able to reveal the word to you. Yeah. You can't know what the word is saying if you ain't got no spirit to tell you what it is. Amen. Holy Ghost. If me as a saint read the word, and some of it I don't understand. Amen. I know the sinner man don't understand. Amen. And then I go back another time and read the same thing, and it's open up to me. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's what that meant. Yeah. And then it keeps going. I get it gets so juicy. And keep reading, and then he reveal more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you read the word, it does something to you. Mm -hmm. It strengthens you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it set fire mm -hmm. to that Holy Ghost that's in you. Yeah. You can't sit still when you read the word of God. The word of God will have you moving when you want to sit still. It'll have you speaking against sin when you want to shut up. Yeah. It'll have you telling the devil, get thee behind me, Satan. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Amen. Don't be afraid of him. No. So substance here is translated in the ESV as assurance. Confidence in the NIV. The reality in the NLT. And in the original Greek, it conveys the idea of a firm foundation. So faith is a firm foundation. Once you got faith, you stand strong. Uh -huh. You can tell the saints they got faith. Because they don't waver. It's hard to knock them down. Uh -huh. Those who have faith in God and believe in God, nobody can't come in and tell them no foolishness. Uh -huh. right. No antichrist can't come here and talk about a Christ that they ain't even serving. Why? Because your faith in God is so strong that the devil got to run. Yeah. Oh, yes, he will. Yeah. 
He said, if you resist him, he gonna flee. He gonna take off. Yeah. Go to the bottom of his hill. So when you see people running away from you, mm, I guess that was a devil. Mm -hmm. Whether they save or unsaved, they gonna run from you if you stand strong in the Lord. Right. If you stand in the word of God and believe mm -hmm. what God said in his word. Mm -hmm. How somebody can come and tell you something different about the word of God. And you can bring up the word and read it to them and yeah, well, mm -mm. you better leave them alone when they get like that. Uh -huh. They may be all types of translation and version, but the word of God is still the word of God. Yeah. Yes, it is. The evidence is ground for belief mm -hmm. or disbelief. So whatever you got faith in, whatever you believe, the evidence is going to show it. So if you believe you can get your license, mm -hmm. you're going to come back with a call. Mm -hmm. If you believe you can do people hair, you're going to go try to get a job at a hair salon. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is what you believe in. The result is going to be what you believe. Yeah. So that's why I say if your prayers ain't being answered, you're not believing. If you ain't getting the Holy Ghost, you're not believing. Amen. If nothing good is happening in your life, watch it. I don't even want to say you're not believing. Something ain't right. Because with God in your life, you may go through trials. But God will bring you out of them trials. And when I say go through, I don't mean go in it. You say, oh, no. I, I changed my mind, Lord. Go through it. Yeah. There's some trials that come. I'm going to say situations. There's some situations that happens in an individual life that is saved, that is taken care of right then and there. Yeah. God sent his angels right out and solved that problem. But then there's a trial that you got to go through because God yeah. got to try you. Yeah, that's right. Everybody talks about Job. Hmm. And what Job went through. Uh -huh. I want to be like Job. I want to be like Paul. I want to be like Peter. I want to be like God. Uh -huh. So I'll say to be like Jesus. Yeah. How I long to be like him. Uh -huh. And how he was? Meek and low. High and holy. So not high on our own thoughts. High in God. Yeah. There's places in God that God wants to take us to, but we don't have faith right. to believe that God can take us there. Right. Yeah. Gotta have faith. There is, God is so big. He is so big. Mm -hmm. And there's so much elevation in him for you, me, and the next person. Mm -hmm. So nobody ain't got to be mad, jealous, upset, mm -hmm. want to knock you down, mm -hmm. want to get ahead of you. Mm -hmm. I, I was supposed to do that. But I'm going out the way to hand. Because it ain't taking nothing for my salvation. Mm -hmm. Was I'm supposed to sing and you want to run up to the mic? I hand you the mic. I don't mind being background singer. I don't mind being back here saying amen. amen. I don't mind standing at the door. Come on. All y'all sinners out there, come on. I don't mind being an usher. I don't mind at all. So I'm glad I'm little. I'm glad I'm short. Because if I had a, a tall statue, you know, tall people, they got a way of towering over people. And they use a statue to manipulate mm -hmm. and intimidate people. Mm -hmm. So me and my little self can't intimidate nobody to do nothing. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing that, you can best believe that's the Lord, mm -hmm. not me. Right. So saints, coming on in. I think I made my point or the Lord made his point. Mm -hmm. 
Have faith. Believe. Yeah. Faith is not a deed that we do. Because it eliminates the pride of human effect. So everybody may feel like, or people may feel like, let me start and I'll say everybody. They feel like, oh, if I do this, then that shows that I have faith. Faith comes from within. Faith is something that's connected to God. So when you get a connection with God to the point where you believe in him, then all evidence is going to be shown. And you ain't going to have to say a whole lot to prove that it's God that's speaking or God that's doing this or God that's doing that. Because as I said earlier, he doesn't need our help. He just wants, he wants to use us to amplify his work. That's all we are. We just vessels. So some people take that vessel in and, and, and they, it goes to their head. But no, that's all we are. We are just vessels for him yeah, to do whatever it is that he wants us to do. Amen. So saints, send a man, <coughs> your faith in the thing that you have is not going to get you to heaven. Amen. You have to have faith in God. Amen. You have to have faith enough to believe. Amen. Say faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you have to hear the word of God yeah. in order to catch faith and believe and then be set free. Yeah. Not all about quoting a verse from the Bible. Yeah. It's all about a change in your life. Yeah. And allow God to make that change. So I want to leave this with y'all. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. God bless you. Yeah.